Hello, welcome to another Creature tutorial. This is the Creature Normal Map and Lighting tutorial. And before we begin, I'd like to explain what normal maps are. So we are animating 2D characters in Creature, as you know. But what if you wanted to add any kind of depth or inset or extrusion onto the surface, the perceived surface of a character? Well, normal maps do just that. They basically create an illusion of bumps and extrusions on your characters and you can actually throw it into a 3D engine like Unreal Engine which we're going to demonstrate later in this tutorial and light up this character in a 3D fashion. So you can basically light up your 2D characters with 3D lights in a 3D engine. It's pretty cool. Uh, before we begin though, I have to say you, you will need to generate a normal map for your character and there's multiple solutions, open source and paid for solutions online that you can search for. So please Google online to find your appropriate normal map generator and then we'll get started. Okay, so let's, uh, let me show you what, how it works in Creature. So there is a new tool in animation mode called Lighting Normal Map Preview. So click on that. Okay, so this tool allows you to basically export your current character texture okay for your normal map generation and then you go generate your normal map and once you're done with that you basically go in and load your normal map so here's my generated normal map generated from one of the online normal map generation tools okay so you click open all right and that sets it and then all you need to do after that is check this enable button and click apply all right and now you see this character has been lighted with with the light source and then it's the normal map is taking effect so I can sc scroll through the different light positions to see how lighting affects this character right so I can bring the light back bring the light forward you know that sort of thing I can move the light source up and down I can move it left and right so this is a very powerful tool let me play the animation actually so we can actually see it see the normal map and the lighting in action as we play it so you can actually dynamically change these values, the lighting values, to see how the light behaves with a character. So this is a very powerful preview lighting tool with your normal map. So it allows you to preview how the normal map will look before you throw it into an actual game engine. So the feedback you get is more instantaneous as opposed to you know authoring this character, exporting it into said game, game engine and then tweaking the parameters. So this allows you to do it in the in the animation editor itself and you can go tweak your normal maps if you don't think it's okay or you want to tweak certain portions of it to make it more appropriate for the character. Alright, so that's basically this anima uh, lighting and normal map preview tool. This is basically what it does. Okay, so once you're done with that, let me stop the animation. Once it's done with that, you should go export your animation as usual in game engines or with the JSON export or FBX and I will see you back in Unreal Engine and we'll hook up this character with a new normal map and we'll see how it goes. Okay, welcome back to Unreal Engine 4 and we're going to hook up the character with our generated normal map and see how it goes. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on my character over here. This, this is a creature character running the creature plugin. If you don't know how to set it up, please watch the earlier tutorials on how to set up your creature character in Unreal Engine using the creature plugin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the creature mesh and I'm going to double click on this materials thing. Oh, of course, before we continue, just remember that you also have to import your normal map, okay, the one that you generated with your third party program into Unreal Engine, okay, and make sure you import it with the compression setting of normal map, so it's actually a normal map, a valid normal map, all right? Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Creature Mesh on the character, the Creature Mesh component, double click on Materials, okay? So here is a very simple material, all right, nothing, nothing fancy going on here, and what I'm going to be doing now is I am going to set up the normal map. The first thing we're going to do is to actually have a texture sample on the normal map. So right click and search for texture sample. All right, it should be here. So here's the texture sample. And as you can see, it's set up with the character's normal map. Okay, so make sure it's pointing to the character's normal map and the sampler type is set to normal. Very important. Okay, and the next thing you need to do is just simply connect this input with the normal node, the normal output or input node, sorry, over here, okay, and you are done. That's it. That's basically all you need to do. Connect up the component here into the normal input 
of the material. Okay, and save. Now we're going to close this, right? We're going to close this. And you probably need to rebuild your, oh, actually, you might have to rebuild your Unreal Lighting if it complains that lighting needs to be rebuilt, okay? And this is your normal map. So now if I actually move the light source around, look at that, it's pretty cool. The normal map is actually having an influence on my character, right? You can see how it's actually bulging out and has some kind of a pseudo 3D effect, right? And so this is the cool thing about normal maps. You can actually give depth or 3D type feel insets or ex extrusion type effects on your characters. So it allows you to actually animate in 2D, 2D characters and then animate 2D characters and then put some kind of depth or normal map on them to give them some kind of extrusion or, or normal, normal map type bump mapping feel. So it's a very powerful and flexible effect that you can consider putting on your characters. Plus it plays really well with the dynamic lighting of various game engines. Okay, So that's really all it is for this tutorial. I hope you have fun adding normal maps to your characters and thanks for watching.